Greetings, back again here. And uh, I have this uh, Toshiba laptop here. And uh, I got this from uh, a relative of mine. And it's not working, so I'm gonna see if I can uh, uh, fix it for him. And this is a satellite uh, C650D slash uh, uh, 12J, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, uh, the problem is, when you uh, go to turn it on, you get the Toshiba logo, and then you just get a blank screen with a, uh, a flashing white cursor up here in the corner, and nothing else happens. And uh, uh, I tried to access the BIOS, but it uh, it wouldn't let me. Just got the the same black screen, and uh, I've taken the hard drive out and also the uh, RAM modules here just to see if they were causing the trouble but apparently they, they weren't because I'm still getting the same the same black screen so I've uh, started uh, taking it apart here and as with all laptops it's really a pain in the ass to take this apart you have uh, all these uh, screws at the bottom here all over the place that you have to get out and uh, this is where the hard drive was sitting and this is where the RAM modules were so so yeah but you have all these uh, these screws and uh, some of them are hidden b uh, underneath here this is where the battery is I had to take that out and there were two screws there and I also had to take the uh, DVD player out and there were two screws here but uh, I got uh, all of the screws taken out and uh, I started uh, praying the the keyboard off here and there's just a few uh, cables here holding it in place so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, detach uh, those and hopefully I can get the keyboard off and uh, so that I can reach the CMOS battery and uh, hopefully clearing the BIOS will uh, fix the problem so I'm gonna go ahead and take the keyboard off and see if I can get this uh, running again alright so I uh, got the battery out here and uh, I only had to remove one cable here and this uh, uh, ribbon cable here for the mouse pad and uh, that was enough to get in here and get the battery out of here and uh, I'm gonna put it back together here soon and uh, see if this did anything alright so I've uh, put the battery back in and uh, now I got into the BIOS so that's a good start uh, and I'm gonna uh, set everything up here and then I'll put the hard drive back in and I'll see if uh, it will boot up correctly alright so it booted up correctly from the hard drive so it seems that uh, resetting the BIOS did the uh, did job here so that's uh, all I had to show you this time so bye for now and I'll see you soon